Hey guys, Oops and Joe here, and today we're going to be discussing one of the few arguments that go on in the Android community, and that is, should you root your phone? The short answer really is, if you want to, you should. But I'm sure you didn't click on this video to just hear that. So let's get to the real pros and cons of the matter so that you can decide whether routing is for you. Now I'm going to give you a little story here. Back when I was using my HTC One M7, it wasn't rooted at all. But I saw all the cool things Oops was doing on his rooted phone and I wanted to root. But I didn't want to wipe my data off my phone because there wasn't a way to do it back then without wiping. So I waited till I got my Nexus 6P and and as soon as that phone was out of the box, I flashed it with all kinds of things and rooted that bad boy. There were so many things I could add and so many things I could get rid of. Ads. But then I updated to Android N and everything went downhill from there. No more root, ads popping up everywhere and all sorts and I was doomed. Until I got my Pixel XL, which I love and isn't rooted. So Joel clearly enjoyed the experience of both stock and root. To be honest, the one pro of routing all comes under one category, and that's customization. Routing isn't going to get you better school grades, while being able to avoid ads with the exposed modules might help you get your homework done quicker, and being able to play YouTube in the background might help. Exposed will be your best friend as a root user, and will allow you to easily install many different modules to suit your needs. Other than apps, there are custom ROMs that you can install too, which won't just change how your phone looks, but how it works as well that you can even speed up the processing speed of your phone. Personally, I use the Sultan CM13 ROM. Since I have the OnePlus One and there's a definite improvement with the ROM compared to the stock version. If your phone takes an SD card slot, with root you will be able to move applications to your SD card to free up memory on your phone, which can be used for other files. And now you're thinking, brilliant, sign me up now. Well, let's slow down a bit. You need to hear your other options first. Well, we're in 2016 and whereas a few years ago there weren't many custom options for your phone, still more than iPhone has now, and routing was the only option, we've come a long way since then. There are many apps on the Play Store that you can use to customise your phone without having to resort to routing if you don't want to. For example, launchers. Launchers are a great way to customise your device to get a new feel, allowing you to make great changes to the user interface of your device. Both Oops and I would strongly recommend Nova Launcher as we have done in the past because it just fulfils our needs. Icon packs are also another great way to customise your phone so that you can have a running theme through your phone where it's all neat and tidy and it won't send your OCD into overdrive. You could even end up making your phone look like an iPhone. But if you want those iOS emojis, it's time to root. So you've decided to root now then. Brilliant, but there are a few things you must hear and I hate to be the bearer of bad news. But there are a few things you're going to miss out on when you choose to root and there may be a few risks too. First things first, you might end up breaking your phone if you root, meaning the phone is essentially dead. And don't even try to bring the phone to Google, Samsung or whoever the manufacturer is because rooting voids your warranty. They don't care about you anymore. And if that doesn't help, you may have to take a trip down to one of those dodgy independent phone shops to see what they can do for a couple hundred pounds. And of course, routing provides you with many more apps that you'll be able to use, but there is a cost. You may find that some of your favourite apps don't work such as Snapchat and Pokemon Go because they don't support root. You also can't use any banking apps. There are ways around this such as doing a different root method for Pokemon Go and using a Snapchat client instead of the official app or never logging out of your app. An exposed module called RootCloak can also prevent some apps from seeing that your device is rooted, but that doesn't always work. As for mobile banking, you have to use the browser version from now on. Additionally, as you are trying to increase the performance of your device, you may end up hindering it. Now, after hearing that horror story, you're probably leaning to the side of not rooting, but I assure you that whilst all those things could happen, you might find that you really enjoy having root access which both of us have had positive experiences with. Whilst I'm using stock Android right now, I'll probably go back to using Root in the future. If you were in a safe, comfortable house, which had everything you needed inside plus more, you don't need to go outside. Outside there are all kinds of dangers, all the things that other people in the house warned you about. They are there, but there are many wonderful and beautiful things too. 
mountains, safaris, jungles, forests, deserts, oceans, all of which you could only dream of having. Go outside and you can. <laughs>